I've got a confession to make. I think I'm becoming addicted to Swiss Army knives. Get everyone, Aussie Mark. And today we're having a look at another Swiss Army knife from Victor Inox. This is the Camper model. And it's the latest in the, the line of these that I've been buying of, of late. Late in life I've really become a convert to these things. For the longest time I thought they were old fashioned and boring and basically weren't particularly exciting. And yeah, I've realised that actually they're, they're pretty damn good and there's a pretty good reason that for decades and decades people have actually been carrying these things around. Um, yeah, everyone's got them, everyone's familiar with them, but they actually do work. One of the other reasons that I'm getting into these is where I live, there are some pretty serious restrictions on knives and what you can carry. In fact, it's illegal to carry a knife in a public place. But however, there are some exceptions to that law, and one of which is that you can carry, and this is pretty much word for word the law, a pen knife or Swiss Army knife for its, to use for its normal utility purposes. So in other words, with this in my pocket, carrying it for its normal utility purposes, I can legally do that. So, let's get into this particular model. As mentioned, it's the Camper. It's one of the 91mm range from Victor Inox. And um, there's a, a lot of uh, knives in that 91mm range, a, a wide, wide variety. I think it's probably the, um, the pick range of the Victor Inox. When we talk about that with these, it's 91mm from this point here to this point here. Now, the Camper model is a free layer, as you can see there. Get the free layers across. And it is 18mm wide, and that's measured from the outside of your corkscrew to that side of the handle scale there. So it's nice and light, it's 75 grams, doesn't weigh a whole lot, and it sits in the pocket really nice, and just obviously it's not a pocket clip or anything like that, it just rides down the bottom of your pocket, you hardly know it's there until you need it. Suitable uses for this knife? Well, where would you start? EDC, camping, hiking, um, you name it, it's just the pocket knife that you might have on you pretty much all the time. Now it comes in two colours, the one that I carry and use is the black um, scales there, black plastic scales. The one thing I will criticise a little bit, you can see a, quite a bit of marking on those scales. I mean it doesn't bother me, it gives it kind of a, a worn interesting look, but they do scratch up very very quickly. The other colour that it's available in, I've got another one here in its box, it'll come as no surprise that it comes in of course the uh, classic Swiss Army knife red. And this is a brand new one, this hasn't had any use at all, nor will it with me. Put it back in its box. Um, why have we got two? Well, Let's just say that a future video you'll you'll see that this one will be, uh, be well going to someone else basically. So stay tuned for that. All right, so back to this one. Let's uh, let's just run through what it's got going for it. It's got two blades, of course, slip joint like you'd expect with the uh, the Victor Inox. They're not a locking blade or anything like that, but that's okay. They've got very nice spring tension on that lock. As you can hear there. The lock up's nice and tight and very very good. The cutting edge on this, not the overall blade length, we'll just talk cutting edge, is 91mm. It's a uh, flat ground, the usual thing, it's a spear point, and uh, came nice and sharp. We won't do a paper test because A, I suck at them, and B, I didn't bring any. But I've got some paracord here, and as you can see there, nice and easy through that paracord, as you'd expect. So, yeah, really useful blade. Not a bad blade size, actually. Now, it's got another blade on it as well, this one. We'll just come around here and it's got the little pen blade. And this has got a cutting edge of uh, 37 millimeters. Now, I'll just give it a little quick test on that bit of paracord we got laying around there. Straight through, so it's not too bad. I didn't know what I was gonna do with this pen knife or pen blade. Initially, these were designed way back in the day when um, I used to use tr trimming um, pen nibs. But in this day, ballpoint pens, there's not a lot of call for that. But what I have found it's really useful for is uh, when I'm at work, if I'm opening up cardboard boxes and things, and I just want to uh, slide along the box without the risk of damaging the contents, that little blade is really excellent for that, so I use it for that quite a lot. Also, um, it really doesn't scare the sheep when you pull a blade that size out. So that's actually quite useful, and of course, if you're using it for that, you're, um, you're not damaging the edge on your main blade, and uh, that's, that's not a bad thing either. I should mention, as I say there, these blades are a flat ground, on all the Victor Inox blades, they're a 30 degree inclusive edge. So if you're using something like a Spyderco Sharp Maker or something like that on them, set it to 15 degrees and that, um, that'll that match those factory uh, sharpening settings. All right, what else has it got? Well, we talked about, on, we'll go up the back here, we've got a corkscrew. Um, a lot of people, and I suppose in a, in a sense rightly say, why on earth would you want a corkscrew? Um, don't know, I haven't used it to be honest, but you never know, I might want to open a bottle of wine, although these days many wines are coming with screw caps. It's probably, 
as useful on this application as the other thing you can get is often a Phillips head screwdriver and for a, a knife that you might use out in the woods I doubt you'd probably use either tool but anyway it's on there and I don't mind that the other thing up on the back is we've got the uh, little awl or reamer I believe they call it and this one has got the little hole there so you can use it for sewing you can put a thread through it the only criticism I would make of this is the thumb notch to open it is as you can see there to the inside of the knife and it can be I mean it's doable but it's just a little awkward getting over that corkscrew to get at it I would think that it would have been a lot more sensible to put that notch on the outside there but again no big deal it is it is that well I'm just just picking a little bit there we've got a key ring of course standard thing we also have the toothpick which I still have never used a toothpick on there on my Victory Knox and on this side as you normal the tweezers which I absolutely love um, I've used them for their normal purposes, pulling out little um, splinters and fawns and things out in the bush. But the other thing, if you're into geocaching like I am, these things are fantastic for pulling the logs out of those pesky nano caches. So the tweezers are a really great thing. What else have we got in here? We have got a can opener. And on the end of that we have a small flat blade screwdriver. I have demonstrated the can opener in, in other videos, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to get through this video pretty quick. But it, it works. I'm pretty hopeless with it to be honest but it will get you into can. It's not the fastest thing it will but it gets you there. On this side and we've got an indent here this will open at 90 degrees or fully out like so. We've got a bottle opener it's also got a large flat blade screwdriver there and just in there a little wire stripper. I've used the bottle openers they're excellent screwdriver is great oh, I haven't used the wire stripper but if you were to, to run a blade around a wire and strip the insulation I've no doubt that would work quite nicely shouldn't be any sort of problem. The other thing this has got that I really like, we've been into that one, is, find it here, it's got a little wood saw. Now the length of that is, what is that, around about 74 millimetres, a little bit under 3 inches. And we will give that a test, this is um, a really great um, sort of double tooth design that Victory Knox put in all their knives. It's not something you might use a, a lot on your knife. But it just tucked in there, and if you do actually want to use it, I think it's a pretty handy thing to have. So what we'll do, we'll just um, change the camera angle. We'll give this a little bit of a test on a, on a bit of a tree that I uh, chopped off just before coming to film this. Back in just a moment. Alright, so I chopped this off just before. It's a little bit damp. It's not a hard wood. It's kind of a medium sort of wood, I guess. The thickness on this is around about 18 millimetres. Just under three quarters of an inch, so something like that. So we're just going to give this little uh, saw a bit of a test out on it, see how we go. Alright, nice and easy. Pretty damn impressive actually. That went through the air um, without any problems at all. For a saw of that size I think it performs really wonderfully. And again, whilst it might not be a tool that you'd use often, if you do need it, it's in there and uh, works really very well indeed. Great thing. So there you have it, the Victor Inox Camper. My conclusion on this, it's a high quality knife, as you'd expect from Victor Inox, and the value is really outstanding. It's um, got a great range of tools, and the price you pay for this is, is really disproportionate to how excellent the, uh, the tool is. It's big enough for most of you EDC type users, but it's small enough that it's uh, and light enough that it's pocket carryable without, as I say, even knowing it's there until you, uh, you reach in to use it. All in all, terrific model from Victor Inox, highly recommended. Thanks very much, much for watching everyone. Bye for now.